So hey everyone and welcome back to my video series. This is Shraddha and you are watching Unique Check BBR. So as today is under BBR Sunday and today I have the life changing book. How to enjoy your life and your job by Del Kande. So of course this book is a life changing book and of course I must tell here that there are five blinking books of Del Kande special book series and this is one of them and our previous book which was how to develop self confidence and influence people by public speaking by Del Kande is also a part of this book so of course little little points from that book are also mixed in this book so let's get started so in today's video i'm going to give you all many different types of things that is first bbr my review then the hashtag bbr experience hashtag flash meals and by the end of this video i'm also going to give you all two bonus series which is a part of our hashtag targeting with challenge if you want to know more video is on the screen and also on the eye popping up annotations don't forget to watch it 10 idioms are waiting for you so let's get going 22nd bbi is our wish so let's start the video in a swish so the first here comes is bbr my review so how to enjoy your life and your job by del kane now my, by picking up a copy of this book you're actually shedding your that old self and getting new qualities and new different types of improved life things and also a lot of knowledge now this book also says us that think and thank think of all we have to be grateful and thank god for all our boons and our bounties now i'm simply would that this book is actually divided in two parts part 1 is win friends and part 2 is stop working now as i've already mentioned before that this is a special book series so how to win friends and influence people some parts some important paragraphs from it are also in this book so now let's move to what i'm going to give you all in my review now i'm going to give of course part 1 win friends and part 2 stop working i'm going to club all of those important points from this book and i'm going to give you that all together so let's move to it now we always want others to you know kind of admire us to uh, instantly like us but in many cases that doesn't happen we actually end up boasting and telling about ourselves our qualities what we love and like this so much things and listener gets bored now this happens but the fact is that talk to people about themselves and they listen for you for hours so what we have to do is just give some honest appreciations for that person and they will actually get interested in us and that will make us you know kind of make that secret of of how to love and how to make someone instantly like you now there is also a research which is the book reveals us that the new york telephone company made a detailed study of telephone conversations to find out which word was used the most and you may be right if you have the answer as it is the personal pronoun i i is the word which was used a lot now it was used about 3900 times in about 500 telephone conversations now this gives how that the people are telling so much about themselves that i have done this and i have done that now when you now let's take a very nice real time when we actually find out that we admire ourselves the most now when you see a real group photograph what is the first thing who are you going to see the first you are first going to find yourself first in that photograph and that means that you matter yourself much we all think about ourselves at the morning evening after dinner before dinner every time of the day we think about what we can do for ourselves so the thing is that talk to people about themselves and also always make the other person feel important and then see the matching they will be actually interested in you some honest praises can actually make the thing So the deepest principle in human nature is the craving to be appreciated. It is that up that differentiates us from the animals. It is that up that has been responsible for civilization itself. Now little phrases such as I am sorry to trouble you or would you be so kind as to or won't you please or maybe would you mind thank you etc. The little courtesies like these relieve the monotonous greed of everyday life and instantly they are the hallmark of good speaking we all are interested in us as i already told now if you want to make really nice friends let's meet people with animation and enthusiasm so now you have got the one more point i'm just telling so many times is 
so make the other person feel important and do it really sincerely not like boasting like you are great you are best etc because they also get that you are kind of boasting what you have to do is just see their appearance what is their qualities and what you really feel from inside that has to be appreciated and when you appreciate the person will be really very happy and you both can be the bestest friends forever and that also makes a very nice friendship now this book also tells us that if some people are so hungry for feeling of importance and appreciation that they actually go insane to get it imagine what miracle you and i can do by giving honest appreciation about themselves and just getting them out of that insanity that can actually help now what if happens that someone has made a mistake now many of us just start telling them just just uh, kind of making that you have done this wrong etc but that makes a bad effect so for making someone really do that thing with their mind in it with their heart in that thing and make it the best what is talk about your mistakes the first so putting our mistakes first and then speaking about them with friendly ways like if the person is little younger to you but still the person is doing a very big thing you can say this book tells us that you have made a mistake but the lord knows that i am no worse that it's no worse than many i have made you are not be, uh, born with judgment but it's okay and of course you are better than i was at your age now come to the point that one don't you think it would have been wiser if you would have done so and so and the person who has done the mistake will actually get it in a friendly way and will do that mistake and will just correct it at the same point without any negative suggestions like the person has said that i have made a mistake this is the secret of telling the person that you have made a mistake let's correct it now do you know that we get bored a lot of times and interest just flows out of us in the thing we don't like we do but this also affects our body so so do you know that the blood pressure of our body and the consumption of oxygen actually decreases when a person is bored so what you have to do is just get into that interest now if you are doing a job and if you are just feeling like this hey it's ready bored and i'm just bored now get into what makes it bored if you are not liking the subject make it something like if you want to complete the tasks do some targets some deadlines some challenges to make you that encouraging feel that hey i have to do it now if you actually don't like it you can just change that job or you can just shuffle it with different types of things now it also happens that you know uh, it's kind that people really succeed unless they have fun in what they are doing so make your job enjoyable and stop worrying now avoid unnecessary tension save your energy for your important tasks for your important duties cuz we actually every day spend our way and our most of the strength on little small things that don't matter much but the things we are needing to do most of our hard work we keep them aside So what you have to do is don't worry on small things focus on the most important task for you Any fool can criticize condemn and complain and the most fools too It really takes character and self control to be understanding and forgiving A great man shows his greatness by the way he treats little man So we have to take interest and we have to also show little greatness over there and we have to be simple and come to that stage that we can talk to other people and be friendly session relaxation is the absence of all tension and effort think is and relaxation begin by thinking relaxation of the muscles of your eyes and your face saying over and over let go let go let go and relax feel the energy flowing out of your facial muscles to the center of your body think of yourself as being as free from tension as a baby and do this process as every day when you get really a lot in tension and you are just like hey what can i do right now go and just relax remember that tension on the body produce aching of shoulders and nervous fatigue you so check yourself four to five times a day and say to yourself am i making my work harder than it is actually am i using my muscles that have nothing to do with the work i am doing now this will help you form a habit of relaxing and among those who know psychology best it is the bad the best habit 2 to 1 and so here you go this was my review and of course i'm not going to tell much more points from this book as you have to read this book 
so i do hope that you love this review i have given many points which are really the root of this book and which are very important so do check out our other pbr videos too now we are having many pbr videos coming so don't forget to stay tuned on every sunday at 4 5 pm and let's quickly move for hashtag pbr experience it is that you can share your experience about how you felt or what you learned after reading any book which is fictional non fictional life changing etc whichever you love just put down comments with the hashtag bbl experience and i'll give a shout out to you in my every bbr videos so what you have to do is put comments and of course the comments i love we're also going to shout out in the hashtag flash me ones corner so let's move to the hashtag flash me and a big flash me to the best experiences you shared with me Okay and so these were the best experiences I had got from all of you I am looking forward for all of them in the comment section don't forget to leave them and so now let's move to the last part of our video which is of course the target english two idioms for you to use in your daily conversations and rock with them So the first idiom I have is notch up it means to achieve something like win a record example now BJ's but this new single song has notched up many records on YouTube and Spotify. Idiom number 2 I have is down to earth. It means simple, decent, realistic, straightforward etc. Example, she is very down to earth and all around the glamour can't attract her. That was all from me for all of you today. I hope that you love the video and I do hope that you love this special concept. And of course I'm looking forward for all of your comments in the comment section don't forget to follow me on my Instagram don't forget of course don't forget to give us a like if you actually love our reviews and want more book reviews you can also suggest your books which you want to review in the comment section and of course don't forget to subscribe our channel press that bell icon just right next to the subscribe button give us a big thumbs up like share and comment and don't forget to send loads of your love and of course some timings for our every sunday release at sharp 5 pm dot ist the more kst and gmt and much more time zones which i love are in the comment section with my most pinned comments so happy watching happy learning and keep creating